here. It's finally here. <laughs> this is the Nikon Z180 to 600 millimeter f5.6 to 6.3 VR lens. I have waited for so many years for this lens. It's been on the lens roadmap and I've had my eye on it. Finally, Nikon announced it. I put my pre-order in very early. So yes, I'm one of the lucky ones to get this lens. Let's not mess around. Let's open it up. Let's have a look at it. More tape. <laughs> Packing, don't need that. Lens, size of the box. More tape. How's the bubble wrap? <laughs> oh, finally, there's a lens here. Ta-da! 180 to 600 millimeter Z-mount lens. Warranties, manual. Got a feeling that's a lens hood. Lens pouch, which I will never use. We're getting there. We're getting to the lens. Whoa! Oh! Love it. So we've got a 95 millimeter filter thread on the front of there. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not like, you know, oh, my arms are gonna drop off type weight. Mm. Let's put it on the Z7, see what it looks like. I'm still in disbelief. I still can't believe it's here. Finally, it's here. I'm going to get out right here. Would you believe to start with, because I'm, I've got my bird garden out there, and if you haven't seen the way I created this bird garden for photography, I'll leave you that right up here. I'm gonna get out there with this setup. Let's go out into the bird garden. Let's get some shots out there. And then after that, I might head down to the nature reserve and I'm gonna see what I can see there. All right, let's head out here and have a look. Should be a little bit of an afternoon feed here at the bird garden. Well, here's these rainbow lorikeets, like timing. Okay, so that's the first time that I've used the Z180 to 600 millimeter in my bird garden. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head down to the nature reserve that's near my house. I'm gonna see what I can see there. Okay, so first things first down at this um, reserve, I'm just gonna head to where I know for a fact there's a lot of birds they're always feeding in the long grass. But yeah, we'll have a look. So in this thick bushland area behind me, there was, uh, I heard this unmistakable call of the Lewin's honey eater. And there was two of them. And they were both feeding on these purple flowers. Got some pretty cool shots actually. There was one shot where it was just taking off. Since I've been using this lens down here, it, my initial thoughts on using the lens, it's just so easy to use. That's, that's the one thing that has struck me. And it's having that short throw going from 180 to 600 is just so quick. I've got my Z7. Look, granted the Z7 isn't the, 
the fastest in focusing. It's not nothing to do with the lens. I think it's a, the camera. Um, I will be looking forward to when Nikon eventually release an APS-C camera, something like the D500 DSLR and a mirrorless. That's what I'm really waiting for to team up with this lens. But you know, it's working okay on the Z7. I've got a couple of good shots before, but yeah, it's it's not too heavy. I like using it with the shoulder strap. It's great for video. It's it's great for getting me that overlay that I need for you guys here on YouTube. I know a lot of you have asked me in the past, does that mean when you get that 180 to 600 millimeter lens, will you be selling your beloved 80 to 400 millimeter AFS lens? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that lens. I'm gonna be using that for the D750 and the D850. Plus it's a very good lens for close focusing compared to this one. This lens is for those long reach situations where I've got Osprey off in the distance and I just need that bit of extra reach. I still use the 80 to 400 millimeter on this Z7. In fact, I've actually done a couple of videos that you're gonna be seeing coming up my channel very soon. But yeah, I love the close focusing ability of that 80 to 400 plus, I've got that wider focal length at 80 millimeters as well compared to 180. This lens was for those long reach situations. So along this creek bed area here, there's always water dragons. So what I did was I went to a spot where I always know they're hanging out in the sun. And sure enough, there were two there and I got a couple of shots as well as some video. Okay, so that was just testing out the new Nikon Z 180 to 600 millimeter lens. Let's head back into the studio and we'll wrap it up. Well, there you go, guys. That is the Nikon Nikkor Z 180 to 600 millimeter f 5.6 to 6.3 VR lens. Already, I love it. I'm gonna be making a heap of videos on this. So if you've got any questions or ideas in terms of what you'd like to see in those future videos, by all means, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them and put them in videos. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.